Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Hello, welcome to our English class. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Hello teacher. teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hello, guys. How are you? It's a pleasure to have you here. How are you today? Is everything okay? Fine. Fine. Awesome. Busy. Yeah, I know. Very good, teacher. I really Very glad to know. And you, teacher? Oh, pretty good. Thanks for asking. I mean, a little busy, um, like, like, like always. <laughs> but you know, we're very encouraged. That's uh, something that I just uh, take into account, like to be motivated. Yeah, uh, we're busy almost all the time. But you know, the most important thing is to be motivated and encouraged to to do everything good. You know, also taking advantage about you know, the time we have to read, to do something interesting, like part of the hobbies. And we always feel really good. So I'm actually in pretty good. Thanks for asking. I know that there are, well, it is raining in some part of the country, especially here in, in November, right? But that's okay. So how was your weekend? You, do you have a great weekend? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Yes, I have a, a great uh, weekend be, uh, because I slept all day yesterday. Oh, you slept all day. Awesome. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we need, we need to, we need to do that. We need to do that. We need to rest. We need to take a time for doing that. So because we work all the time, we're busy doing a lot of things, but actually I'm, I'm really glad to know that. So welcome you all to our English class. We're gonna start today with a, an important topic to share today. And we are just uh, trying to maximize your English skills. And I always tell you that this is a process that we go step by step, trying to reach all the personal goals we have for improving the language and feel proud because this is not an easy it's not an easy process. It, it requires time, dedication, and passion for learning. I know a lot of people who say, oh, no, teacher, eh, no me gustó el inglés. ¿Y por qué? Ya, ya no seguí, me salí. ¿Por qué te saliste? Es que siento que es difícil. I mean, some people that they stayed on the road, but they don't sacrifice to, to reach the goals. Nothing is easy in life. You had to work so hard to reach the goals. I mean, nothing is like, you know what? It's going to be easy. Take it and go. No, English is different. People, sometimes people want to learn the language in, in a couple of months, but, but it's a language. I mean, we're talking about time. And I just say that in Spanish. Y fíjense que hay personas que en el proceso, de repente ya no estoy en inglés. Y fueron como dos meses. ¿Y qué pasó? Dos meses y ya no... Siguieron las clases de inglés. ¿Por qué no seguiste las clases? No es que está bien difícil. Realmente siento que no avanzo. Pero yo te pregunto. Es que, oye, no, te vas a no es que vas a memorizarte algo. Es un idioma. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo vas a aprender en un mes, dos meses? Es un idioma el que estás aprendiendo. Entonces, esto va a requerir tiempo. Va a requerir dedicación. Va, va a requerir que tenga esa motivación para aprender. Porque no podemos aprender algo que no nos gusta. Entonces, eh, no se trata de, de porque fui a unos tres meses y siento que, que me cuesta y ya no avanzo. Siento que no, ¿verdad? Entonces, recordemos que es un proceso. Y mientras usted practica más, pues el inglés es mucho más práctico y mucho más fácil. Entonces, don't forget about that. It's, it's very important. So, that, that should be like a personal, a personal satisfaction to, to be where you are now. Um, you guys that you are in, in this level in the um, intermediate English level. Usted ya son intermedio dos, so you feel proud because uh, perhaps you remember when you started like some levels before, the, since the very beginning, in a uh, principal one, two, three, uh, pre-intermediate, intermediate one, intermediate two. So you come from a process and this process, it's very valuable. Everything we do, every process we follow, it's very, very, very nice to know that. So it's, it's always um, the time that you take for that. And also no matter how long you take for that, 
The most important is that you are giving your steps to improve your language. And that's what I did when I started English time ago. I just remember that was not easy to me. I had to work so hard. I had to practice a lot. I had to dedicate some extra time or my valuable time to improve. And that's why that to make it successful. All right, so let's start. What's what's the name of the what's the name of the topic? Back, Back to the future. Back to the future. Back to the future. I don't know. Sounds like uh, sounds like a, a movie. I don't know. Uh, sounds like a <laughs> movie. I don't know. It can, can, came into my mind, right? So, do you think about the future? Do you think about your future or not? Almost, almost all the time. Nice, Dennis. We got like a goal. We think about what is going to happen, what things will carry life in future. And also what about us too? So we can talk about the future. But in, there are some valuable details that we will take for that. And um, uh, Ricardo, can you help me to read the general objective for this class today? Yes, teacher. Uh, in this class, you will be exposed to an audio where example of past, present, and future tense are used. So we will take a short time to uh, talk a little bit about the past and also the present time and also the future that are used. So we're talking about some things that maybe the future will carry. So let's see what happened with that. All right, and look at the first activity. Check this, it's, it's very nice. Uh, we have the past, the present and the future. We have a chart with some valuable details. I don't know if anybody would like to help me to read this what this uh, chart is, is saying. Who wants to help me to read it? Me, teacher. Thank you. Um, all the older chart or the only text? Exactly the, the chart, uh, just the chart. Okay. Past, present, and future. Air travel. Past. Wait, the brothers first successful flying in 1903. Uh, Concord supersonic jet present in the future commercial fly to outer space and um, home entertainment past color television. 1941, uh, present, computer games, and future, three-dimensional TV, Pop population, London, for um, four millions, no, for a thousand million, isn't it? 1899. Yep. 19. Present Tokyo, um, 28 million. Uh, mm, I don't say this this number. 500. Uh, 500. 500. Is a 28 million. 500,000. In the 1995, in the future, mega excited in every week, every country. And talking about this question, which of these past and present development are most important? Why? Do you think any, any of the future development will ha happen in your lifetime? How will tomorrow's city be different? So just three different. Only that.
Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So we can see here just examples in general related to the past, present, and the future. So I, I remember that in the past, the brothers, the Wright brothers, they tried to think about an, a machine, not, not specifically an airplane that was not a name, but a machine that with the goal to fly, to move from one place to other one without any problems. They start trying, trying several times to create that machine and they fail, they fail, they try, they try, they fail until successfully they could get that one. So in the present, um, new technology improved and they created new supersonic uh, transportation like they conquered supersonic yet sadly um, many many years ago this uh, airplane specifically was cancelled so there are modern airplanes that replace this uh, transportation and in the future because we don't know we don't know what's going to happen uh, commercial flights to outer space and this is a reality so we can see huge uh, companies especially american companies that they want to make travels outdoors make it real uh, most of the time those flights are for investigations they go to iss international space station they go and they go back but in the future very close there will be some flights for tourist people so they can see the, the out of space that will be awesome and some things that happen uh, we remember the television time ago um i remember well exactly i'm talking about like two days ago i was speaking with some friends about televisions the first tv we had i remember that i had a big tv that was black and white well, when I was a kid, first time a time ago, and um, people used to watch television in black and white. With the time, the television improved, and then, then the television uh, was with color. And now you can see the televisions are amazing, of course. Then we have computer games, and imagine the three-dimensional television. That would be awesome. They're like holograms. So we can see incredible things that we can uh, perceive in life. So talk about these questions. So we will take a short time to socialize with your partners the following questions we have here. Which of these past and present developments are the most important and why? Okay, for me, the airplane is the most important, or for me, the most important is the television. So you will discuss with your partners. Do you think any of the future developments will happen in your lifetime? Uh, do you think that any of the future development, the future technology, the future devices will happen in your lifetime or you won't see the future? For example, you can see robots. Uh, some people say that there will be some robots that they will, is, they will speak and socialize with humans. Do you think that in your time you will see this? Or do you think that knowing this time, but in the future, the robots will socialize with humans? And the last one, how will tomorrow cities be different? So just three differences. For example, that in the future, uh, about the cities, we won't use too many land vehicles. We will have flying vehicles. That the buildings will be different. And also they will have more natures. They will have plants. They will combine trees uh, to make it more natural than concrete. Or maybe the people will behave different. So think about these changes. I will give you in this moment, some minutes to think about the three possible equations. After you have a personal opinion about them, we'll take a short time and we will discuss with your partners about these three questions related to the future. I think that the future in the cities will be different. So the cities will be clean. And also, we won't see like too many people walking on the street. 
So I think that the cities will be much better, clean, more modern, with more technology. That's what I think about the cities in the future. So discuss about these questions. And meanwhile, you work with this, I will take advantage to pass the attendance list. So you listen to your name and you say present. Yes? One second. Guys. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes. Uh, just, uh, just give me one second to look for the attendance list here. Okay, so we'll check the attendance list. So let's um, listen carefully and you help me to, to respond to your attendance. Let's see here and check the first one. See. Alejandro Jose Quintanilla. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Andrea Geraldina Sanchez. Present teacher. Eh, Andrea Michelle Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Marisol Vargas. Present teacher. Thanks. Boris Martin Salinas. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Brian Isaac Escamilla. Brian Isaac. Eh, Carlos Jose Asensio. Present. Uh, Denis Is Isaías Gómez. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Daisy Carolina Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thanks. 
eh, Dina y Isabel Flores. Dina. Ahí le contestó, teacher. Ok. Elba Carolina Vázquez, gracias. Present, teacher. Gracias. Es que no puedo ver el chat aquí. Eh, por eso es que. Si no, alguien no es... ahí le habló por el micrófono, pero creo que no le funciona. Ajá, creo que no. Entonces, pero si no me dicen porque no, los, no puedo ver el chat por acá, así que ahí, ahí les agradezco mucho que me ayuden con eso. Erika Maydell Antonio. Present, teacher. Teacher, Brian, say present, present. in the chat. Ok, yes, yes, I know. Thank you. Eh, Francisco Alberto Lemos. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, Iris Regina Hernández. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jaime Rolando Escalante. Jaime. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana. Present, teacher. Eh, Jessica Janet Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Juan Eduardo. Eh, Ka, eh, Katy Graciela Juan. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Mary Lucille, Lucila Soto. Present teacher. Eh, Maritza Isabel Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Nadia Isolina Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Noemí Alicia Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Oscar Armando Cruz. Present teacher. Thanks. Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez. Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Sara Nalda Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Vidal Evelio Mejía. Present teacher. Wendy Abigail Present. Rivera. Ok. Present teacher. Thanks. Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. Yes, present. Thank you. All right, guys. I think we're ready to like socialize with a couple of minutes the questions we have developed. So I'm just going to create the breakout rooms and you will have the opportunity to um, socialize uh, the questions in general. You can say, okay, who starts? Quien comienza? Okay, I start. The question one is this one. So you can take a brief time to discuss the questions we have together. So let's begin and everybody get ready to see the screen and let's take the invitation to be in the breakup rooms. Let's go. Creo que sería. But in this case, uh, we have to, to think uh, what other technology can be developed in the future. Uh, what do oh. you think that's going to be developed? Well, the future. Yeah. Okay. 
Especial um, Especial Nave, creo que así es el nave espacial, ¿no? Space. Space, sorry. Okay. Uh, the computer uh, advance uh, day for day is my my is is the, is the machine the future day for day. Creo que así se dice la máquina que se mejora más futuro futuro día a día, perdón. Okay. Your example, Ricardo. Uh, I think uh, in the future the human live will live in the moon. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 It's true. Uh, it's true. <laughs> sí. <laughs> Más allá también va. Mm -hmm. Okay. Por eso decía que la computadora es la que avanza día por día, que también se utiliza mucho. Yeah, you're right. Uh, well, I think that uh, in the future, uh, the, the most of the countries uh, is going to have a, an electric car. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yes. More commercial. Supersonic. The supersonic. Yeah. <laughs> the Jackson. The Jackson, Jackson, yeah. Great story. Um, Wilfredo? The airport is going to be a, a air, air taxi. Yeah. For flying taxi. Wilfredo or Blanca? 